The Islamic State wants to spread its terror beyond Iraq and Syria. Egyptian authorities say the militants are advising at least one splinter group in the Sinai. CCTV's Yasser Hakim has more. In its latest online announcement, ISIS revealed it has connections in Egypt. And Ansar Bayt al Maqdis, a militant group operating in northern Sinai, claimed it has received advice from the Islamic State on new tactics to attack security forces in Egypt. Egypt is only offering technical and logistical assistance to the United States-led coalition against the Islamic State. Would the new developments lead to a change of heart? I don't think so. Egyptian army is preoccupied with the terrorists in northern Sinai and helping police in maintaining security in the cities. They're too straight to send troops. Furthermore, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi made it clear this week in New York that he was not satisfied with the U.S. He's disappointed that the U.S. delayed last year's much-needed arms deliveries till now. Had U.S. supported his crackdown on terrorism, he might have been more prepared to join them now. Sisi pointed out that the only way he would join the U.S. efforts is if it was a comprehensive plan to combat terrorism in the whole region, not just Iraq and Syria. Experts say Egypt is currently dealing with immediate threats around its borders. Egypt is concerned at this stage with events in Libya, trying to muster support for a crackdown on militants in its neighboring country. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.